Hello everybody and welcome to my channel AJ Script Media. Our next project today is all about Gatsby.js and we will gonna be building a new website from scratch using the latest version Gatsby 5. This version was released on November 2022 and there are some exciting features. But before we go to the actual development, first we need to define what is Gatsby.js. In this tutorial, we will be discussing what is Gatsby.js, fundamentals needed in creating Gatsby site, what's new in Gatsby 5, and lastly, why you should use Gatsby. First, it is an open source React-based JavaScript framework. If you are familiar with React.js, it is a front-end JavaScript library developed by Facebook and now Meta. Since it is maintained by Meta, we know that it will work well since they are using it in their own website and web applications like Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram, Oculus, etc. And not only that, a lot of developers around the globe are also using React.js. With all the benefits of React, using Gatsby makes it more easier to build websites. Some of the benefits of React.js are declarative, which makes code more predictable and easier to debug, reusable UI components, you can focus on a single component and then reuse them to a more complex user interface, state management, state contains information of each component that you can use to change the UI easily. JSX syntax, it's a combination of HTML and JavaScript which allows us to write HTML directly using JavaScript. Fast rendering, it uses virtual DOM to render only a part of the DOM that needs to be changed instead of re-rendering the whole page. Easy to learn, less code but more functionality and using React hooks, it makes it easier to learn and adapt. Code stability uses downward data binding from parent component to child component. It is very popular and it is industry standard. And lastly, it has many community support online. Next, Gatsby is a static site generator. From the word itself, Gatsby creates static files for the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other website files. This means there's no need to call any server to load the page. Say for example, if you are using WordPress, the contents are saved in the database. Thus, retrieving the data creates latency. Next is progressive web apps. Progressive web apps is also an advantage because you don't need to create a native app for Android and iOS. Progressive web app can run on both computer and mobile devices that has a supported browser running on it. You just click add to home screen and it will become like a native app. Let's talk about the rendering options of Gatsby.js. First is the static site generation. Gatsby.js builds blazingly fast website because by default it renders a page using static site generation which means when a user visits your website, it will give them a static files like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, and other website files. It is worth mentioning that static site generation will only work at build time which means every time you have changes on your site, you need to rebuild and deploy again. Let me show you how it will work under the hood. Say for example, you have here the data sources. It can be markdown files, CMS from WordPress, e-commerce for Shopify, Contentful, or even from public and private API. Using GraphQL and Gatsby, it will combine all of these data sources into one website. Gatsby.js is using pre-rendering which will generate all the static files. There are two options on how you will deploy your site. First option if you are not using GitHub, you can easily copy the files using FTP or SCP secure copy to any VPS hosting. 
if you are using cpanel you can compress the file into a zip file and upload it manually second option if you want to use auto build and deploy use github and integrate it to gatsby cloud netlify digital ocean and others the good thing using this option is you just need to update and push your code to github and once it's done this hosting will auto build and deploy your site now let's talk about deferred static generation deferred static generation is similar to static site generation however it builds only when a user access the page for the first time hence this will improve the build time for static site generation this is best used for pages with less traffic or old articles just take note that this should be run in server with node.js running by using gatsby serve command next is server side rendering server side rendering generates the full html on the fly when a user visit the page that's why visitors will always get the latest version of the content directly from the server this is however slower than static site generation and deferred static generation the same like deferred static generation it requires running node.js server using gatsby serve gatsby js uses graphql it is a data layer developed by facebook used to pull data from anywhere and combines them into one format these data sources can be a markdown file cms like wordpress e-commerce from shopify from public or private api and some databases next let's talk about the new features in gatsby 5. first is partial hydration partial hydration simply solves time of interactivity which means gatsby 5 makes your site even more faster using this method you don't need to wait for your site to have full hydration hydration means when the javascript file was downloaded it will fill the states and event listeners of your web page to make it interactive but what if you have large bundle size so this affect the time of interactivity of the site using partial hydration you will only download a very small chunk of code to make that part of the website interactive if you see on the right side partial hydration makes the carousel interactive immediately when the user visit the page when the user click it it will be interactive and the user will not be confused if the buttons are disabled or something went wrong next is slice api slice api makes building faster in the image the green one which is the content will only be added in the build it makes sense because header sidebar footer have no changes at all so why don't we add them in build time right so slice api will solve this issue an example of this if your blog is hosted on wordpress once you updated your blog your gatsby site will create builds only for the blog content part and not the other part of the website next is in graphql version 2 they added dark mode times to work multiple queries persisted state times using local storage better documentation explorer through search and markdown support and lastly plugin ecosystem next is the head api if you are working with the free plugin before which is react helmet now you can use this new head api compared to react helmet or other similar solutions gatsby head is easier to use more performant has a smaller bundle size and supports the latest react features lastly is the script api gatsby includes a built-in script component that aids in loading scripts performantly it supports both scripts with sources and inline scripts so next what are the fundamentals needed in creating a gatsby site first of course you need to have javascript knowledge react js html css and css or sas command line and graphql don't worry guys in the next tutorials you will understand it easily and lastly why you should use gatsby so here are the list why you might use gatsby js on your next projects first it builds fast and powerful websites easy to learn developer and user friendly progressive web app seo friendly combine different data sources into a single site security scalability easy deployment free themes and plugins 
and lastly many online community support so that's it guys i hope you learned something this is only a quick overview regarding guts bjs so in the next tutorial guys we will be installing guts bjs thank you and see you on my next tutorial